All right, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, some more trigonometry and look at derivatives of trigonomic functions and basically go over some examples. We can go over these two examples. Uh, the first one's a derivative of this function, and the second's actually not derivatives, just limits, but they're limits, derivatives, uh, they're all the same. Uh, anyways, I'll go over the first example, which states find the uh, derivative of y equals x squared times sine of x right here. So if we look at number one, uh, basically, we write y equals x squared times sine of x. Now we could just solve this using the product rule. Let's make sure you watch that in the video link below on it. Basically, product rule states you just find the derivative of the, the first function. These are two functions. This is a one function here. This is a second. So we find the derivative of this function right here, which is going to be well two of x using our power rules. Bring that down minus the two by one, and then times it by sine of x. And now we add the just x squared this function and now we take the derivative of sine of x which equals to cosine of x right you can see proof of the this and the product rule in the video links uh, below so that was just a quick one so there's our answer right there and now if we look at the second example right here which states find this limit of x times cotangent of x uh, first thing you should know is well cotangent of x equals to, well, uh, this is just the 1 over tan of x, and we know tan of x equals to sine over cos, so this is going to equal to cosine over x, uh, over sine right here. So this limit, if we, we can write it down exactly like this, this is going to equal to limit as x approaches 0 of x times it by cosine of x divided by sine of x. Now we can't just plug in x here because we'll have, well, this is going to be a 0, there's a 0 right here, and then there's a 0 at the bottom right here. So we have a case of a 0 over 0. Yeah, so now if we have this one right here, we can't just do this, but this we could also apply uh, and to solve this using La Hopitelle's rule. And yeah, we could use it applying this, but my calculus book does a, some uh, another way different than this. I'll do this right after uh, I do this uh, their way first. So what they did is they first divided both the top and bottom by x, so we get limit as x approaches 0 of now. This is going to be, well, x times cosine of x divided by x. And we're not changing anything. We're going to have now sine of x over x right here. So now this x is cancelled. We'll be left with limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x all divided by sine of x over x right here. So we haven't changed anything because we're just doing the same to top and bottom. So now we could apply the limit at uh, both of them. So we'll have limit as x approaches of 0 of cosine of x all divided by uh, this limit as uh, x approaches 0 of sine of x over uh, x right here. And I, and I showed my earlier video basically this one right here this is actually approaches 1 right here. So this approaches 1. You can see the proof of that in the video link below. And the top one, well, we know when we know that uh, cos of 0 is just equal to 1 right here. You can see the graph of it. Uh, or basically it's going to be equal to, well, adjacent over hypotenuse at basically 0 degrees. So if you have an angle of 0, adjacent is going to be here, hypotenuse here. So they're the same one, a over a. I mean a over yeah I mean this is h not uh, not o so we'll have adjacent over hypotenuse of a straight line over a this is going to be equal to one so both they're both exact same right there yeah so in fact we just get basically one over one this just equals to one so the limit is one uh, that's the way my calculus book does it so make sure to watch proof of this one here but uh, the better way I like is actually using a Lahapi tells rule. And basically, you, you could take the derivative of the top and bottom because this is an in indeterminate form, right? You can make sure to watch those videos in the video links below on, on, uh, it, on the Hoppy Tells rule. Basically, so we could take the derivative of the top and the derivative at the bottom right here. So limit as x approaches 0 is equal to, well, d of x uh, cosine of x dx. So this is a derivative of it. And, and put this in bracket. And then all over d of sine of x right here over dx. So if we just do this the limit separately, we'll get now limit as x approaches 0 of this, this derivative using the product rule like I showed above. This is uh, two functions. So we take the derivative of the first one. It's going to be 1 times it by cos of x. And now we go plus 
the derivative of o is plus x times the derivative of cosine of x is just equal to negative sine of x. You make sure to watch out in the video link below as well for this proof. And now we have this all divided by, again, derivative of sine of x is just equal to cosine of x right here. So now we can just plug in our zero because we won't have it divided by z uh, zero anywhere. So we'll get equals two. Well, this is going to be one. So cos zero is one. So we'll have one uh, plus zero right here. So the zero sine of zero is just zero. So we get uh, zero right there is one plus zero. All divided by cos zero is going to be, well, one equals one. So this is a quick and easy method. Well, anyway, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this. And remember uh, to watch the related videos. They're pretty useful to help understand this if you don't already. And you can also download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And hopefully you learned. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.